Hi again, one of the coolest features of Lightroom, which is actually a little cute, is a tool called the Painter in Lightroom. So a painter, as it sounds, it's not something you use to paint your walls or paint something in, in, in Lightroom where you paint photographs. It's actually something very different. By the way, can I please request you to subscribe to this channel so that you get all the updates that we send. Uh, also, it's a good idea to hit the bell icon so that you get instant notifications when we have new content. Uh, let's assume or let's take a use case. You actually spend time adding keywords to an image. Let's call it, for example, in my case, you're looking at my desktop with a few uh, images of a bird called the Keelbill Toucan. Now, let's say you added a keyword for this particular image and you went into um, the keyword section of this and you called this, uh, apart from I already have a, co a Costa Rica uh, keyword there, I'm calling this a Toucan, for instance, right? So I enter this keyword and in, if you want to, you can add another uh, a keyword here called the bird keyword and I entered it and I went back to my library view. In this case, I'm sitting inside a collection where I'm only seeing Toucan's collection. Now, what if I had to do the same thing for all the eight images in my collection here? I have to go to every image and type uh, Toucan and things like that. Or you can actually be selecting all these images and you can simply go ahead and add the uh, keyword called Toucan's. But in an image scenario where you're sitting in a context like this, there is a Mecca here, there is a Toucan on here, there could be something else, there could be an Arakari, there could be a, a Montezuma, there could be some Tanager. So now you can't just be selecting images from end to end and saying this is a Toucan. So Light, Lightroom has allowed us to actually use a very interesting feature in the bottom here, which is called as a painter. It's, it's an icon which is looking like a, a color tank which has a spray. You can press on that and it sprays colors or something like that. So instead, if you select the painter and next to it, you have what should it paint feature, where I'm going to go ahead and select keywords in this example and once I select keywords it will ask me to type the keyword I should be painting. I'm going to paint the keyword called test for example just to test a few images. Now if you mouse over any icon you will see the painter appearing there. Now let's take an example of painting this particular macos abstract uh, body image of all the feathers and if I paint it will say assigned keyword test. I go to the next image and I paint it will say assigned keyword test. If you go back to your toucans collection now if I go ahead and say please make my painter go ahead and paint the toucans keyword to all of these images it's going to allow me to simply go ahead and paste the keyword called toucans to all of these images. It's a very quick way to use the painter. Let's say you don't want to use keywords. You can actually go ahead and say, I want to work on uh, a different aspect, which is actually the rating of an image. Now I'll go ahead and say, all these are fantastic images. They're probably five star images. So I'll go ahead and select five star here and say every image I paint using the paint tool here should have a five star. And you can see how below every image you're getting the five star uh, rating, which you are actually painting using the painter tool. This is a cool feature which allows you to do a lot more things than just rating and keywords. You can paint labels, you can flag them, you can also copy and paste metadata using the painter. You can actually rotate images by saying, I want to rotate it like this from copy from one image, or let's say you say, I want to rotate an image to the left or the right and paint it to all the images where you want to rotate left or right. And that's the quickest way to actually apply similar settings to multiple files. Well, this is a very cute and nice little feature. Don't forget, once you're done with painting, take your painter back and leave it in the place Lightroom actually wants you to. Well, there are a lot of such information that you can actually learn by watching these videos. The, the channel is called the Toehold TV. Please subscribe to the channel and also please hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications. And if you want to learn Lightroom in depth. We have a course for you. You can actually buy this course and the link to this course is somewhere in the description below. Please follow the link and explore how you can actually learn Lightroom in depth and become a really efficient user of this product.